Back in 2008, when I first joined TNO, the Dutch National Research Institute, we'd been approached by a number of the top coaches in the Netherlands. They're very busy coaching athletes with uh, how to improve the way they run, the way they move. Um, and one thing that was missing was the information to understand exactly what that meant in terms of data. Arion comprises an ultra-thin, pressure-sensitive insole that slips neatly underneath the runner's existing running shoe insole. This means it can be used unnoticed, it doesn't affect the performance or feeling of the shoe. But we've transformed that shoe into a kind of running lab. We measure the interface between your foot and the ground really accurately. And besides that, we have gyroscopes and accelerometers, temperature, we've got GPS in there. We have a very rich data set that we feed to an app. The app does uh, a bunch of calculations uh, to extract the important biomechanical parameters. And from that we give coaching advice and we determine your biomechanical loading. So that means we know how your body is performing and if you have certain risks of injury, we might help you to prevent. This is rather unique in the wearable environment. There's a lot of devices that can measure things like heart rate, speed, distance, a lot of things about what you've been doing but there's still nothing currently on the market that can help us understand how we run. I think the world of sports development and sports coaching is moving away from the instructive model, where somebody who's an expert tells the participant, the athlete, what to do. And I think we're moving to a, to a world where um, athletes can be provided with their own data and they can uh, make their own changes to their technique or their training or their competition strategy based on the data that's at their fingertips. I think Arion has a lot of potential to, to, to offer that insight to the participants. When you've had an injury, you get a weakness on the injured leg. You do lots of physio and rehab to build back the strength in the leg. However, when you resume training, there's usually some small weaknesses and differences, reduction in range of motion, and then it leaves you susceptible to further injury. If you have data from before the injury on how you were running, you can compare that after the injury and then make decisions whether you need to continue with more rehab or keep a reduction in your training load and hopefully avoid further injuries. And that would have been really useful for me. Most of our effort goes into our coaching algorithms and biomechanical analysis software. And because our algorithms originate from over a decade of research, that makes it incredibly hard to copy or reverse engineer. And from that research, we were finally able to file a number of patents. And this portfolio gives us some commercial protection to move forward and uh, stay ahead of the rest of the market. In a very short amount of time, with very limited resources, we were able to bring our first product. And this product was something we could present at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas at the beginning of 2017, where we stood alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. And amongst all of these products, Runners World magazine selected Arion for the product most likely to make a difference in the industry. So far we've taken very little investment, but we managed to achieve incredible things thanks to our very passionate and dedicated team. Last year we began selling on pre-order. We're very pleased that we've managed to sell out our first volume batch of Arion products. But it does mean we need to initiate next production. And for that we need additional funding. And this will provide us a foundation to scale and grow the company to become an important part of the running community internationally.